Hello there, everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Animal Boxing. And uh, we are on the uh, on the last bout of the Silver Jungle. So let me bring up Apollo's uh, profile here. So Apollo has always been a bit of an egomaniac. You'll see a bit in his taunt here. Well, you don't get to see all of it, but yeah, you can see a bit of it. You see more of it when he uh, wins too. And don't worry, I'll be showing off all the animal win animations at the end of the game. So fair to mention that real quick. But back to the profile. He thinks he could take anyone on in a fight. Clearly he hasn't fought me yet, has he? Anyways, a good point. He's responsible. Well, that's good. You always want someone that's responsible, don't you? At that point, he's a narcissist. He likes mountaineering, and he dislikes needles. Well, I don't blame you there. I don't know anyone that does like needles. Like, who, who really likes needles? I, I've never actually met anybody that likes to get jabbed with a needle and, you know have medicine put in their system or whatever. I've never met anyone that actually likes that. Is there anybody in the comment section that likes that? Let me know, because I've never met anyone that does. But, uh, yeah, this is Apollo, and, uh, I do have to wonder if that tiger statue we saw, I wonder if that's supposed to be him. I don't really see the resemblance personally, but it wouldn't surprise me. Like I said, though, he does come off as a bit of a narcissist, so it wouldn't shock me at the same time. I would have to wonder, did he build that himself? Is he like a famous movie star? Did they build that for him? Or was it always there and he just claims it's him? I don't know. I don't know. I just don't know. This is a very weird game, don't you know? We've, we've been over this before, but I need to go over it again. This is a very strange game. But, uh, almost done with Apollo here. Hopefully I can get him, uh, without taking a knockdown, because, uh, t it takes a time when I take get knocked down, don't you know? And I don't want to waste time. I want to get this done. Oh, there we go. He's out. Fantastic. All right. That went smooth. And, uh, if I recall correctly, I think he's a bit dramatic in his, uh, lose animation, too. Eh, yeah, no, no. Not as dramatic as I thought. Just a little head shake, whatever. I, I I don't really think that's all that dramatic personally, but yep, I am the new champion. Heck yeah! And next up is the silver ice, if I call, recall correctly. Yep, and it's here we're gonna meet my biggest rival of all, that guy right there. Because holy crap, that guy always gives me quite the matchup. Let me tell you. But we're not to him yet. First, we gotta get through Marilyn. So, Marilyn is best known for her swimming abilities. Whether in a competition or just casual, she always leaves others in the dust. A good point, she's got a keen ear. A bad point, she's slow to dry. Get it? Because she's always getting in the water and getting wet. It takes her a while to get dry. No, anyways. She likes coral reefs, and she dislikes rainy days. Well, I can't blame you there. Nobody wants to go swimming during a rainy day. That That's no fun. That is no fun, what can I say? And, uh... You gotta admit, Marilyn is one of the tougher opponents in the, this section of the game, let me tell you. I do have to ask though, what is she supposed to be? I really can't tell. She kind of looks like a walrus to me, but at the same time, she could be a manatee or something like that. I just, I don't know. I don't know. If you guys know, uh, let me know down below because I just don't know. Like, it looks like she has some, some sort of tusks there. But I don't know. That could be her teeth, and it might be, you know, manty teeth or something like that. I don't know. I am just not that smart, what can I say? And uh, she's she's not the only animal that I just don't know what she is either, but uh, she is our current opponent, so I just figured I'd mention that real quick. Uh, for some reason, she also shares animations with uh, the next character we're going to be fighting as well, so... I don't know what that is, but uh, it's very, very weird. Uh, she doesn't share the same taunt, but she does share the same win animation at least, so I always found that kind of weird. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna get her without getting a knockdown at least. Yeah, doing some decent. Oh darn it! I spoke too soon. I was about to say I'm doing some decent dodging, but no, not that time. What are you, Marilyn? Seriously, what are you? I must know. The world must know what you are, but I don't know. I just don't know. 
And I, I got asked too, why are you boxing in your swim gear? Why? Why are you wearing the cap and the goggles and everything? Shouldn't you take that off and put on some proper attire? I don't know. This game's so weird. And that's not even the weirdest thing of all. Just the fact that I'm boxing with animals is the weirdest thing of all. And down she goes. And next up we have probably the most famous character in this game. I'm pretty sure by mentioning that alone, you all know who's next, don't you? Yeah, if you played this game, you know who's next, don't you? If you guessed Cammy, you are correct. Before I get into her uh, profile though, I just, I gotta talk about her uh, taunt. Whoa, 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 whoa! Down, girl! Down, girl! Down, girl! What are you doing? I mean, seriously, holy crap, woman! Are you trying to convince people to make fan art of us? Oh, crap, I forgot they already did! Oh, you guys are going too quick for me now! Like, seriously, I don't even get a chance to say, I don't want fan art of this character before you do it now! What's next? You're gonna make fan art of me and Sam as the random- Actually, that wouldn't be too bad. But, but seriously! Why? What'd I do to deserve this? Uh, I can already see our fan art project coming up. Uh, Alright. On to her profile. Cammy is a very fl flirtatious lady. <laughs> Gee, you think? As if her freaking taunt didn't already give that away. She'll gladly do whatever it takes to get the one she has affections for. Oh, crap. Does that basically mean she's the Pepe Le Pew or the Fifi Le Fume of this game? I'm not sure how I feel about that. Anyways, a good point. She's persuasive. Um, you sure that's a good point? Because I'm not sure that's a good point. A bad point? She can't take no for an answer? Oh boy. She likes... Oh no. No. She likes the player. In this case, me, unfortunately. And she dislikes rejection. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna be a man about this. I'm gonna let you down gently, Cammy. You know, it, it wouldn't work out between us, okay? You're a dog, I'm a Yoshi, it just, it wouldn't work out, okay? It wouldn't work out. So, sorry, but there's plenty of fish in the sea. It's not me, it's not you, it's me. Uh, I'm interested in Rosaline, okay? I'm more interested in her, all right? There. Like a band-aid, just <clears throat> rip it off. Not interested in you, sorry. But uh, anyways, folks, now we got a rematch. So here we got Barry. How's you doing, Barry? How's the fishing going? Has the fishing game been going good for you? I hope it's been going good for you. I just got done fighting with Cammy, and I must say it was very, very disturbing because that taunt she does. Holy crap, man. It really disturbed me. Have you ever fought Cammy? I hope you haven't because uh, it can be quite disturbing, let me tell you. But uh, anyways, here we go. I got to say, Barry, you look a lot like Marilyn in a way, only your tusks are longer and your, your skin color is different. Yeah, you're, you're all pink instead of, you know, gray like Marilyn. I, so I do have to wonder, does that mean she's not a walrus? I don't know. I just don't know. And I just realized, you're wearing striped shorts too. Are those normal boxing shorts? Are those regular shorts? Are those loungers? I don't know. I'm quite curious to know. And why are you wearing your knit hat? Why are you wearing your knit hat but no shirt? Are you cold? Is your head cold but not your body? I don't get that. That makes no freaking sense to me. And down he goes. Down goes Barry. Yeah. Why don't you come up with a Jill sandwich, huh? That's right, I just made a Resident Evil reference, despite the fact that I'm not playing Resident Evil. His name's Barry, so I'm gonna reference him like he's Barry Burton. Why not? Why not, right? And if I ever mention yet, that, is, that reminds me of uh, Mickey from uh, Rocky, because it really does. You really remind me of Mickey from Rocky in a way. Maybe I should have said you're a trainer instead of a fisherman. I don't know. I just don't know. All I do know is I'm kicking your butt, boy. I am kicking your butt. Is that all you got? Is that all you got, Barry? You used to be hard when I first fought you, bro. You're actually a decent challenge now. I'm wiping mop the, I'm mopping up the floor with you. Yeah. Yeah, take... Oh, that was a nasty hit. That was a nasty hit. I'll give him credit there. Oh, my goodness. And he's angry. He's angry. He must not like my insults. Well, too bad. It's all true, Barry. It's all true. And now I'm angry, too. And I'm going to take you down. Oh, but first I'm going to go down. Yeah, I'm down. Oh, can I beat the count? Of course I can, because there's no count. Look at him dance around. Look at him dance while I'm down. Why can't I do that? I don't know. For some reason, when I knock down an animal, I, they just instantly get right back up. 
instead of me doing a taunt or something like that. It's not like there isn't taunts and holy crap, this is really delayed. Why is that so delayed? I don't know. I guess it maybe was a glitch. I don't know. But again, I ask, why don't I do a taunt? It's not like I don't have a taunt. I know I do because I've seen it before in multiplayer mode. And yes, I do own two cartridges of this game. Why do I own two cartridges? I don't know. I just do. I just found it on sale. I was like, hey, why not? Why not, right? Why not have two copies of the same game? Check out the multiplayer. Why not? Uh, spoilers though, I will not be showing off the multiplayer. Sorry if you wanted to see that, but I will not be showing off because I don't know how, I don't have anybody that wants to play this game with me, so unfortunately I'm not going to be able to. But anyways, Barry's almost down. He's almost down. A few more punches and he's out. He's out. Ring the bell. It's over. Night Yoshi is victorious once again. Thank goodness he isn't scarred for life from, actually no, he is scarred from life from what Cammy did earlier because holy crap was that creepy. And boy is that fan art really disturbing. Oh, oh God. Why? Why? It's not like I'm against fan art. If you guys want to draw me, that's fine. You want to draw my character, that's fine. You want to draw me with Rosalina or Katana or someone I like, sure, go ahead. But why? Why Cammy? Why? I don't know. But anyways, moving on to Hutch again. How you doing, Hutch? How you been? Uh, have you met Cammy by chance? I think uh, you and her would be a lot better together than me and her, let me tell you. I don't know if the audience will agree with me on that. Please agree with me on that. But, uh, hey, I think you two look a lot cuter together than me and her. Definitely, definitely. Oh, what a punch by C Hutch. What a punch by Hutch. Oh, what an uppercut. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I just noticed your eyebrows, Hutch. Can I just say you really need to shave those things? Because those are really, really furry looking, really weird looking, and really stick out from your white fur, I must say. Granted, they are black, so it makes sense that they'd pop out on your white fur, but still, they are quite quite bushy, I must say. You might want to get those trimmed, man. Might want to get those trimmed next time you go to the barber, assuming you go to the barber, and he's down! He's down! Is he down for the count? Of course he's not down for the count, because there is no referee in this game. Why is there no ref referee in this game? I keep bringing it up. I'm going to keep bringing it up anyways. And I just noticed the cabin in the background. It looks quite nice. I wonder if anybody lives there. I don't know. Maybe it's a lodge. Lodge, I don't know. I just don't know. And he's angry now, so that's not good, but no worries. I got him stuck. Oh, I had him stuck in a combo, and I got him another. Yeah, keep those punches coming. Keep those punches going, and he's no longer angry. That's good. Uh, at first, I imagine he'd be still be angry, but uh, apparently not. Apparently, that's not how the way that's, that's not how the way this works. And now I'm angry. Oh yeah, now I'm going to mess you up good. I'm going to beat you up good. Yeah, go down, Hutch. Go down. I recall you being in the corner, but all of a sudden you're in the middle of the ring. I don't know how that works. Now all of a sudden you're back in the corner. How the heck does this all work? I don't know. I just don't know. It doesn't make any sense. Seriously, this game is weird. Do I have to say it again? I have to say it again. This game is very weird, very strange, and... Oh, he's almost down. He's almost down, and... Oh, crap, I'm not angry, so it's going to take a little bit longer, probably. Probably going to take a few more... Oh, no, one more punch, and he's out. He's out. Ring the bell. It's over. Now Yoshi wins again. Hooray. But now he's got to face off with his rival. How do you feel about that, Now Yoshi? I'm scared for my life right now. You heard it here, folks. He's scared for his life. And not just because of Cammy. And not just because of Cammy. You heard it here, folks. It's because he's got to take on this guy with a very hard to pronounce name. So, let's see here. Sorry about that, folks. Anyways, uh, like I said, this guy's name is very hard to pronounce. So I'm not even going to try it. It's F-L-O-Q-U-E-T, Floquid or something like that. I don't know how it's supposed to be pronounced. I'm just going to call him Ice Ape. How about that? Anyways, Ice Ape is a rare white furred gorilla. Not much is known about him or his origins. Well, that's nice to know. A good point. He can knock you off your block. Kind of similar with Cammy. I don't see how that's a good point. Uh, good for him, I guess, but not good for me. A bad point. He's unfriendly. I mean, just look at this guy. He looks pretty unfriendly, if you ask me. He likes snow cones. And he dislikes being called Blizzard. Uh, in case you couldn't guess, that is a Primal Rage reference, because in that game, you could actually play as a big ape, a big blue ape, called Blizzard, who is easily the best character in the game, if you ask me. He was kind of like Sub-Zero in a way, and I loved him. Yeah, he, he, he was one of my childhood heroes, what can I say? I, I had the action figure of him. I loved watching my dad play Primal Rage as Blizzard. It was, it was awesome. And I love Primal Rage in general, even to this day. I don't care what anyone says, it's my favorite arcade fighter ever. I love that game. And man, this guy's throwing a lot of quick punches. Yeah, he is a quick puncher, I must say. But, no problem, I'm gonna get him anyways. Probably won't get him in the first round, because again, I always struggle with the gorillas for some reason. At least, at least in the first round. Beating them in the first round, anyways. 
Yeah, it looks like you might see, need to see a dentist there, pal. Your teeth are missing. Oh man, less than a minute already. I only take him down once. That's not good. That is not good. As Sonic the Hedgehog would say, that's no good. So we really gotta take him down. Take him down while I'm in rage mode. Yeah. Aw, oh, crap. That's not gonna help. Alright, come on. Do your little taunt so I can get up already. There we go. There we go down. Come on. There we go. 27 seconds. Still in rage mode. Eh, there's a chance, but very slim. Maybe I can do it. Maybe I can take this guy down. Not a lot of rage left, though, so I doubt it. Hey, he blocked it all. Darn it. Well, almost all of it, so. Yep, looks like we're going to be going to round two. Unfortunate, I know. Again, I gotta say, it's a shame there's no, like, between round animations like in Punch-Out! Wii. Like, seriously, if this game was more like Punch-Out! Wii, I think it'd be a lot more well-remembered by people. Or at least maybe more people would talk about it. That would've been cool. It would've been wouldn't have given the characters a chance to shine a bit more and show a bit more of their personalities, too, but, uh... Yeah, again, that didn't end up happening. It's a shame. Unfortunately, this game will likely never see a sequel either, because I, I don't even think the company that made this game is active still. I think they closed shop. I don't know. I don't know for sure, but uh, that's why I think happened anyways. Alright, he's almost down. Can I get him here, please? Darn it. Come on. Come on, get up. Why didn't I skip this? I don't know. I should have skipped this, but I didn't for some reason. I don't know why. Don't ask me why. I don't know. Alright, give me that chocolate. And he's out. There we go. I don't know why, but this guy always gives me all kinds of problems. So, yeah. Anyways, that is Ice Ape. Again, I cannot pronounce his name for crap. So, I'm not going to bother trying. But, uh, yay, we are now the Silver... Ice Champions, woohoo! It was uh, it was totally worth getting scarred for forever by Cammy and having to fight my biggest rival. Yeah, it, it, it was worth it. Totally worth it. Anyways, folks, that's going to do for this part. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see y'all next time. Later.